quick shout out to Space Systems Doral out in Palo Alto and many others who've helped make today's launch of SES-5 a reality. We're getting down to T-minus 15 seconds. Word is that there's clear skies. You should be able to watch the launch for a while. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have main engine startup and we have liftoff of an ILS proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the SES-5 satellite on board. Let's listen. It's a little difficult to see due to the fact that this is night in Baikonur, but at about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket did a roll maneuver and will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, also known as Max-Q, and this is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. For Proton, it corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs one minute and two seconds after liftoff. We're at T plus 40. Beautiful clear sky. And T plus 50 seconds. And when conditions are right, a condensation cloud will form around the proton as it passes through the sound barrier just prior to max Q, leaving an annular cloud, as you can see right there. When lighting permits, this is normal, it's not smoke, but rather it's, it's moisture from the atmosphere that condenses into tiny water droplets due to the aerodynamic shock wave created by Proton. And T plus one minute and 20 seconds. And everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads across the cosmic drone in a northeasterly direction with a flight azimuth of approximately 62.1 degrees. T plus, one minute, 45 seconds, and all it continues to be nominal. Can hear our comrades from the Russian bunker uh, giving updates. Normalna. T plus two minutes. And we're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes. And watch for the halo effect. And I've received confirmation of stage one, two separation from Baikonur. And we have a signal of all ignition of all four second stage engines and they will burn for a total of about 3 minutes and 27 seconds.